Yeah, you can see Will Smith is saying welcome to Miami, the home of awesome music and cool TV shows. But let's go back a little further. When Miami was once known as the Magic City. That's right, this is Miami 1950s. When Miami Beach was a crown jewel. And everyone from around the world would come and visit our beautiful beaches. So, let's do some retro decor, Miami style. I didn't know exactly what to do when I started this craft. I was looking at all things Miami and of course Will Smith and you know the 80s and Miami Vice. But then I decided I wanted to do something a little more vintage -y. it's more my style. So here I'm taking a tray that I got from the Dollar Tree, these are usually silver. I went out and I spray painted it with this creamy yellow, I love this yellow. It reminds me of the refrigerators from back in the 70s, you remember that? Okay, maybe not. Maybe I'm too old, but I don't know. I really liked the color and I thought it was perfect with all these little postcards. These are all vintage postcards I found on the internet. So first I did some stenciling and now I'm just mod podging all these wonderful little I don't po postcards. And what a wonderful place to put postcards. Does anybody still send postcards? I hope so. I thought that was really pretty. But regardless, it's a nice place to, you know, put your keys and your suntan lotion or actually sunscreen lotion for me thank you very much but i just thought this was adorable and of course i added some more stencils of uh postcard markings that i had and a few butterflies here and there because you know why not it's uh miami after all and i just really love the color scheme so i hope you try this one out it's real simple and easy to do I'm proud to say that this video is part of a collaboration with all these lovely ladies and it's an around the world collaboration. So here I am representing Miami Beach. Enjoy! Using some candle wicks from BB Crafts, I'm creating a candle cocktail. So I'm using some burnt down candles that I had sitting around and I'm using also this margarita glass that I got from the Dollar Tree. So I, the candles uh, scent was coconut and I had a pina colada scent also. So this really came out as a beautiful pina colada candle. Now what's summer in Miami without a sunglass holder? So here I'm taking one of these very cheap sunglass holders or eyeglass holders from the Dollar Tree and again I spray painted it with that beautiful I don't know goldenrod color yeah, I love this color and it is a chalky paint so it's not like very uh, slick looking and again I'm just going to decoupage using Mod Podge and I used the gloss Mod Podge decoupage these beautiful postcards that I found online some of them I believe I found through the graphics fairy but others I just found randomly and I think the yellow color was perfect. I think that's like the backdrop for like even the bathing suit that one uh, young lady is wearing in this postcard. So here I'm just decoupaging all of these postcards. And it was just a lot of fun using these vintage retro images. Now I'm sure you noticed that I like to create things in ensemble. So that's why I'm using this same color for the tray and of course for the eyeglass holder or the sunglass holders and the candle turns out to be this creamy yellowy beige color as well and I'm using the same postcards for all my crafts as well as layering so I'm decoupaging and then on top of that I'm also going to stencil and I again I have these beautiful writing stencils and postcard kind of stencils which I thought was just perfect for these vintage postcards i love love the way this sunglass holder turned out and i haven't seen anybody else create these uh you know personalized sunglass holders so i imagine that you can give this to you know grandma or nana after the kids spend summer with them and just get some photos and print them out and create an eyeglass holder that she can have all year all year round with some of these summer memories so i hope you guys try this yourself i really really love this so once again i'm going to use those old-fashioned vintage postcards 
and some sunglasses that I got at the Dollar Tree that were really cute. They look like old-fashioned Ray-Bans. And this little framed um, artwork thing that I got at the Dollar Tree. And once again, I spray-painted it with the same color as the tray and the sunglass case. I don't know if you've noticed, I like to do full ensembles. And this is another one. I don't know if you want to call this Art Deco, Vintage, Retro, whatever. It is what it is. And I had fun. And yes, it's summertime. And there's no better time than the summer to decoupage because it's fast and easy and you're always happy with the results and besides it comes from the plan family of products and uh it's mod podge i feel like i should have worked in marketing back in the 50s i think i would have done well i like doing jingles and stuff 50s and 60s were a big jingle time jingle time is that such a thing like you know there's like renaissance area and then there's jingle area jingle area Jingle era, Renaissance era, I don't know. Anyway, that's the jingle era. I think I was made for the jingle era, if there ever was one. Now I'm going to use my beautiful Cricut Joy. I love it. This was given to me by a dear, sweet lady, Pam. I still can't believe it. And uh, I thought I was filming myself using the software and I didn't come out. I had another camera, it didn't come out. I was using my phone. Now I finished weeding which I didn't include myself weeding. Uh, I don't know if people uh, like watching people weeding. If you do, let me know. I will include more weeding in my next video. Now here I'm setting up to transfer my beautiful little vinyl signage, my vinyl lettering to the actual craft. And of course I'm measuring it out like a good responsible adult because now I have a cricket. I have to make things even nicer, so. I, it's, a, it's a lot of risk. With, with little cricket comes great responsibility. That's how I see it. So here I am getting ready to set up my Miami Beach sign using my transfer tape. And if you don't have a cricket, don't worry about it. You can make up your own signs. You can type it in. You can, I mean, not type it in. You can paint it in. And um, I just decided to start using, I have to use my cricket. I'm just so blessed to have it. I have to use it for more projects. So here I am putting that Miami Beach lettering onto the transfer tape so that I can transfer it to the actual decor item. And here I'm just making sure I, uh, no, I didn't do it right, gotta do it again. Oh, never give up, never surrender. And uh, yeah, use that little picky thing to make sure all the lettering is down pat and that once you lift, you lift all the letters together and that way you're ready to transfer it to your decor item. So here I am transferring Miami Beach. Next, I wanted to add a little more, I don't know, je ne sais quoi, I guess. I just wanted to add some something more floral, some more color. So I used some Sola wood flowers. Some of them were natural, some of them I pre-dyed. And they're in the colors that are complementary to my postcard. So here I am adding these beautiful solo wood flowers to my decor idea. I really love using the solo wood flowers. If you're interested in buying some for your own, you can go to my link down below and you can buy some of your own solo wood flowers. They have a lot of sales, up to 70% off sometimes. Buy yourself a kit and dye your own flowers and have fun with it in the coming season. So here I am, I have some of my pre-painted flowers that are yellow. I used actual acrylic paint, like folk art paint, and a little bit of water, and blended that color in, and a little bit of pink. So now I'm going to add these wonderful flowers and add that cute little pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses to the side of my sign to welcome you to Miami. Once again, this is part of an Around the World collaboration. Please check out all these wonderful crafters and creators in the playlist link below.
Thank you again for stopping by, and I hope you're enjoying your summer. Next up is fall and Halloween. So as I always say, stay safe, be kind, God bless each and every one of you, and remember to live the adventure. <laughs>